Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. At this point, I'm worried for Elebaye, honestly, because she has a whole lot of target on her back. Yeah. Yesterday after the party, okay, before I even get right into that, please take a moment to like this video and also subscribe. Let's talk about the pool party a little bit. Then afterwards, I will get into the Elebaye's drama with she and the rest of the boys in the house. Yeah. The party yesterday was quite interesting. I enjoyed it. The housemates were very playful and you needed to see how Neo and t were locking lips all the time and i'm like does this really define their relationship right now does this mean they are now an item because with those two it's hard to tell if they are with each other or not but anyways i just thought i should just let you guys know that moving past that here yeah, let's talk about the bad post that happened between ile baye and she she was in the locker room because in the locker room they had a whole lot of things going on but the camera wasn't showing us not in the locker room per se in the bathroom so the, the camera wasn't showing us and all that so anyways the next thing we saw a letter by come to she and she was like oh um you're she you're stupid and she replied saying oh when we kill her generation she get and venita stepped in and said you shouldn't you sh that i don't want that she was like you cannot talk to she in that way you cannot insult she in my presence i'm not going to take it she you don't want to learn she was asking by she you don't want to learn you cannot talk to she in that way i'm not going to take it and then mercy came and took she away from the scene that was what we saw and messi was trying to tell she that see, it's not time the time is not right for you to unleash yourself for you to bring out that thing in you just wait a little bit so we're always trying to say that she's just playing cool playing calm just to see things let me tell you guys as long as eleba is in the house if eleba continues to be in the house very soon mercy is going to turn against her she will see her as a big threat a big threat and she's happy in her mind that she has two strikes already she's she will see as a big threat give it week seven week eight mercy is going to come for a labor a big time just watch okay that was the whole fight it was just a short-lived fight because mercy took um she out of the scene and she tried making him see things the way she explained to him and he was like yeah that makes sense that makes sense and then um he went back to the the um locker room to continue what he was doing so let's talk about the plan that the guys are having they're having this very dangerous plan like it's crazy their plan is to boot a lebay out of the house that was why i said in the beginning that see i worry for her i feel for her but see just know that she put herself into this whole situation she brought the predica predicament upon herself notwithstanding i still feel for her anyways let's talk about the whole conspiracy the gathering so those guys came to locker room to talk about a how they're going to give her the final strike that will get her out of the house so it goes most of those girls are like this because they are scared of tarnishing their brands like the way they're being so protective they don't want to do much because they don't want to they don't want to tarnish their brand kid where it goes which brands do they even have it goes i'm sorry their brands in their head like they have in their head they think they have brand Perez says they should they should um shut up eleven they should shut up eleven for another strike so this is period that brought up this idea that they need to shut her up for another strike and let me just say this the guys are not happy with what eleven did to kill wire after hearing both sides of the story they came to the conclusion that eleven was aware of what kid Wire was going to do on stage that's presentation they had and she let it happen and now she's trying to act like she had no idea because the actor didn't you read it didn't you see the name you saw the name of the staff and the way you and the way you, you played him because he gave you the opportunity to talk if you were not happy with it you would have said no this is not what i wanted which makes sense rather you spoke as his employee 
and also we use the same name like then afterwards you're acting like a victim i, I even had to give it a rethink i had to give the rethink i'm like okay fine it's beginning to seem somehow to me chicken anyways let's continue the conversation yeah so he was like um Perry was like it's time for them to give her another strike she goes oh saying elebe was the one that started with him elebe took the bottle of water from his face so she was actually explaining what had led to the whole um bad boys that just happened not too long between him and elebe he said elebe couldn't give any idea in the no task yesterday that and they named the cocktail after her all she does is sleep they cook for her she does nothing so he had to make reference to the dano tax that happened yesterday or two days ago that they told eleba to come up with a cocktail say she's a gen z there was nothing she came up with they did everything they had to even name the cocktail after her and this is not the first time i'm hearing housemates complain that eleba does not bring anything she does she contributes almost nothing when it comes to task and that that was also one of the reasons why they were angry with her that kid wrote all his plans did everything and she's angry why didn't she contribute and all that then here it goes says angels angel did not act like this during her time because she was 21 and uh, he also spoke about um sasuke he said angel behaves like she's in her late 20s you know angel is, is kind of ma- is kind of mature but do not piss her off if not she's going to rain insults on you ek says biggie will give her an, another warning and not strike so perry was saying that see let them get her a strike ek said just watch and see biggie is not going to give her a strike but biggie is going to give her a warning insinuating that biggie is partial to women so this is what ek is saying kid Bear says he will get further by playing the villain in this house says he's happy he's finally become a villain he had always wanted to be because this is his own um, point of view or his own thought he said during his season he, he was himself the sweet kid wire the way he is but he gave it a thought saying that see, it, it, it would not it not make sense for him to come out come back and play the same game this time around let him try let him explore and be something else and have a feel of it and this is what he's doing and he's having fun with it and then ek said um, most of the girls are limited because they are scared of brands and all that and he said when the girls leave the house they will go and suck men's d for dollars wahala Perry said suck d for naira they have to walk up to sucking d for dollars yo wahala yeah this was what they were saying they said a lot and then Iki said see the girls in the house are misbehaving because of strikes and how lenient biggie is to them this is still him pushing the narrative that biggie is more lenient to ladies than guys in the house kidwaya says he thinks elebay is playing against the game Perry says no that he thinks that is who elebay is that he's not going to give her the credit the benefit or the credit and the benefit of she being smart enough to play a game ak says let's not let let's not go too dark on her jigger i get what um Perry was saying i think it was kidwell that said kidwell also said at the beginning at the beginning she didn't probably she didn't she was just being her but later she then kid in into it and probably she's using it to play a game guys i really don't know but right now i feel like he is being dumb because last night last night she was tipsy how can you have two strikes and you know people are plotting against you and you're giving in to a call i don't understand it okay let's continue then Perry went on to say one weak weakness Lebe has is that she does not know how to control her temper and emotions but she, he also added that she will gradually get there that okay he was like she will gradually get there and they plan their plan was to keep was to give her one week and keep poking her poking her little by little little by little little by little then it will get to a point she's just going to explode and then it will trap her this was the plan they had serious plan and then they went on to say let them go to the table even before before they came here to talk um mercy was it mercy no, it was um cc that was having a conversation with with kid wire and maybe about what had happened kid Wire was trying to explain cc said because of what kid did that she's angry the later she was like she now understands that why didn't she why, why did she agree to it why did 
he let by agree to it didn't she read it and all that so then kid walked up to let by where she was seated at the guard no garden at the, on the dining with angel and um doing and he wanted to explain kid was yelling get out of here i don't want to talk to you and all that so he left after when perry and she said it's a good idea for her for him to leave so he left then they came here to have all this conversation so after their plotting and everything they decided to go back to the table to the dining table so he said okay they're going to get alcohol and go there they're trying to instigate her to instigate it to push to poke so kid where went to his box brought out some drinks gave to the guys and they went to the table to sit down to get so that they would just say things that would trigger her and all that anyways it didn't work but they went there to sit down and this time around she didn't really say much and eleven was like come to my front and say that trash yeah that was the very first time he went there because she was like come to my front and, and say that trash he was saying F- the trash you're saying effing coward calling someone a puppet yet you are the puppet this is what eleven was saying to kid wire the very first time he approached the table to explain his own part and kid wire refused to go before the guys asked him to go before they went to the uh, locker room to have their plot i already said that yeah for me here yeah. hmm. i don't know it's um crazy in the house right now it's like people have people losing their mind i even want to talk about something else but i think this video is already becoming lengthy but anyways i have something else to talk about because right now what ek is doing does not make sense but i'm going to discuss that in, in another video he he deserves a strike a strike is coming for ek serious strike big cannot overlook that it is first class provocation biggie cannot overlook what ek has done anyways like i said i will address that in another video let me talk about kid wire and mercy kissing guys i didn't know when this one started you know uh, okay uh, let me don't say you know the stairs leading to the hoh room upstairs there's a blind spot yes on the stair stairs there's a blind spot so they they figured the blind spot and they went there to kiss we could hear the sound the camera was rotating we could not see because according to mercy she was explaining to fraud what, what, what had happened after the kiss we heard we heard them kissing we saw kid boy coming down we saw mercy going into the room and mercy told someone i just kissed the man and then she went to explain to fraud what had, what had happened and well as the camera was rolling she both of them were turning with the camera so the mark so that the camera does not capture them and they succeeded we could not see it but we heard it i'm pretty sure you guys you guys heard it at the beginning yes that was kid wire and mercy kiss and i'm like okay what are we expecting is this a ship and they spent most of the nights together yes downstairs guys i don't know what's going on because every time in that house every day we have new things springing up i don't know but the problem right now is um elebaye the plot is a lot they are plotting against her and Ike deserves a strike yes i'll see you guys in another video thank you so much for watching and bye